Hey fams, how are you? Welcome back to Positive Vibes. So today I just want to bring you another encouraging word. Um, I feel like we need all the encouragement that we can get these days and just praying for God's strength and peace and, you know, just to break this thing to completely dry up the root of this craziness that's happening but in the midst of that i just want to encourage you to stay a faith stay in your faith and don't don't get weary don't get down don't get you know discouraged i know it's hard i know some of us are having anxiety and just really really anxious but the word of god said to be anxious for nothing but by prayer and supplication to bring your request to God, right? To make your request known unto him. And so if you feel that you are anxious, if you feel that you are just overwhelmed, bring your request to the Lord and just ask him to give you peace and comfort at this time. So today, I really just want to jump right into it. Um, I'm reading a devotional. I actually, I, my daughter, my mother-in-law had this devotional and um i had a couple of devotional books that she had and when she passed i was able to um my husband was able to get this you know all the devo devotionals for me so i love her devotionals and so i passed this one down to my little girl uh, michaela because it's talking about his princess so the name of it is his princess love letters from your king and it's written by sherry rose shepherd and i just i love it so much i think it's such a sweet um love letter you know type book and i actually got this for my daughter because she was feeling a little bit insecure and um you know i was able to go through it and find something that spoke to her spirit and it really really helped her so i know that when sometimes i'm feeling down and feeling discouraged or you know overwhelmed um there's a word in in the bible that i can always go to and it lifts my spirits and not only lift my spirits but it changes my life because i apply it to my my life and i'm able to stand on it and live what the word says so i just want to encourage you guys today and if you do have this um, devotional book or if you don't have it and you want to get it, I don't know if it's on Amazon. It probably is. Um, but you can get it through Mol Molt Nama Gifts, books, something, Personal Growth Christian Living for Women. So you can always go and, and grab that. I don't know if they have a website. You can check it out if you need to. Um, but I just wanted to... Hey, baby. <laughs> Do you know where the brush is? The white dresser in the living room? The brush and the comb is in there. Okay. The drawer to the left. Okay, thank you. Yep. Um, and so yeah, you can go and check that out. But I just wanted to read um this love letter. It's on page eighty eight. Um, but before I do that, let's let's get into prayer and ask God to just be a part of our mix. Father God, we just thank you this morning. God, first of all, we just repent for all of our sins. We spoke, we did, we thought. Lord, we ask that you cleanse us and forgive us, Lord Jesus, oh God, and, and help us to be more like you, Lord. In these troubled times, help us to focus on you, to keep our minds stayed on you so that you can keep us in your perfect peace, Lord God. Father, we pray, Lord God, that your word will become so real in our lives, Lord God, that we begin to change and transform into what you have called us to be. Help us to not fear, but to have faith. Help us to not walk by sight, but to walk by faith, Lord Jesus, oh God. Lord, we just thank you. Lord God, we ask that you come in the midst of us, Lord God, and speak to us, Lord. Help me to bring forth your word, Lord God, to your children, Lord Jesus, with understanding and clarity, Lord God. And speak to me, Lord Jesus, oh God. Anoint every word that comes off of my lips, Lord Jesus, oh God, right now. Father God, and move in the midst of us. Let your spirit be felt, Lord God. Let your anointing be poured out, Lord God, and let change be taking place in the hearts of your people, Lord. Father, we just thank you this morning. We honor you. We glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. So it says, my princess, come to me. I saw you before you were born. Even then, you were on my mind. My daughter, 
my son, I knew you were coming and I did everything possible to express my love to you and extend my invitation to you. Now that you are mine, I want you to continue to come to me. Come to me when you feel strong and when you feel weary. Come to me when you are rejoicing and when your spirit is crushed. I ask you come not only to give you rest, but also because there is so much more I want to teach you. There is more of me I want to reveal to you. You see, I did not create you for this fallen world. I created you for paradise but the curse of sin tore us apart. I've conquered sin and death for you through the death of my son. So come to me and live. Me and live. Love your king who is waiting. I love this scripture. I, I love this love letter so much. I think it's it speaks to our hearts. It speaks to our souls. It speaks to our spirit, man. And it's just... It's just so it's it's it speaks of who our God really is. Um, he's such a loving God. And I know during this time, you know, people may be like, well, where is God? Why is he in the midst of it? He is here. He's with us. He's with us. But the thing I want to remind you is that what you focus on, you will magnify. Right. The very thing that Job was going through was not because God caused it to happen. It's because of the mindset that Job was in, right? He said that the very thing that I feared came upon me. And so the things that you fear is going to come upon you. So whatever it is that you magnify, whether you walk by faith or you walk in fear, it's going to magnify and it's going to come upon you. So if you are fearful in these times, whatever all the media is saying and all the stuff that's happening and it's going around and you in within yourself you're just like oh my gosh this is gonna happen this is gonna happen this is gonna happen it will happen because words are spirits and whatever you fear is going to come upon you now switch that around when you're walking by faith and you're believing god by faith that thing that you're believing god for will come upon you if you continue to focus on it, if you continue to magnify on magnify, it, if you continue to speak on it and stand on God's word and believe in his word, it's going to come upon you. So if you're believing God for peace and you're doing everything, keeping your mind stayed on God, reading his word, staying in prayer, his peace has no other option but to come upon you. Right. He said that he he's he's not a man that he should lie. He sends out his word and his word has to accomplish everything that he sends it out to it does not return to him void right so if you're in god's word and you're speaking his word it has to come to pass in your life but you must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seeks him if you're going to god and you don't believe nothing is going to happen because it's your belief system it's your faith that he's looking at he's not looking at your you know your words what you're saying because what you're saying if you're not saying it in faith by faith believing trusting in him it's not going to come to pass so whatever you're believing god for especially in times like this you need to stand on his word for real this is the perfect time for us to really take God at his word. Like, okay, God, you say you're going to protect me and my family. I'm going to take you by your word. I'm going to take you at your word. So I'm going to read Psalms 91 or I'm going to read Psalms 23 or whatever I'm going to read, believing you for, I'm going to stand on it. And I want to see you work. And let me tell you something. God moves by your faith. He is not moved by your crying and your oh, boo-hoo. That doesn't move God. God is moved by our faith. That is the only thing that is going to please him is our faith. And so when we stand on his word by faith, we can trust and we can know that God is going to come through for us no matter what. There's been people that I've heard talking like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I'm going to get the virus and blah, 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 blah. 
and they're not even sick. Like, <laughs> you're not even sick. Like, you have no symptoms, nothing is wrong with you, but you keep speaking that thing, it's going to come upon you because it's what you fear, right? So you got to be careful with your words. The things that you say, it's going to come upon you, good or bad. And so he's saying here, hey, hey, listen, I created you. I, I, I knew you from before you were even a thought. I created you. I knew you. I knew you were coming. I did everything to get get my get you get you ready for the goodness that I am, right? And he said, "I've conquered sin and death for you through the death of my son. So come to me and live." Okay? Come to me and live. Guys, if you stay in God. I don't care what the media says. I don't care what the president says. I don't care what anybody say. You understand what I'm saying? If you stay in the word of God, God's word has to come to pass in our lives. It has to. He said the world will pass away, but his word is going to stand forever. Okay? His word is going to stand forever. And you can trust and believe his word will stand forever. All right? Matthew 11, verse 28 through 29 says, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens. And yes, I'm in my PJs. Don't judge me. Three kids home. I'm homeschooling. I haven't seen this, the light of day besides looking out my windows. <laughs> Don't judge me, y'all. I got my PJs on and I'm doing positive vibes. I, yes, I am. <laughs> Come to me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew 11, verse 28 through 29. I just want to encourage you that if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you are feeling stressed out, if you are feeling weary and heavy laden and burdened, Matthew 11, 28 through 29, come to me. If you're heavy laden, if you're burdened, if you're stressed out, if you're overwhelmed, if you're anxious, come to me. If you don't know where, where else to go, come to me. I will, I will give you rest. I'll take up your yoke. That's what he says. He said, I'll take it from you. You can't carry it. I can carry it. But you got to come. You got to come to me. So I just want to encourage you guys this morning that if you are feeling any of these situation, any of these symptoms, any of these, because worry, stress, Anxiety, it's a symptom. It's a symptom of fear. And fear turns into sickness. And sickness turns into disease. And then you know what happens from there. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And God did not give us a spirit of fear. He gave us peace, power. He gave us love, power, and a sound mind. He did not give us fear. So if God didn't give us fear, who is it coming from? All right. So I just want y'all to be encouraged. Be encouraged. Give God your burdens. Give him your stress. Give him whatever you're feeling. Y'all, this is the time to seek him like you've never seeked him before. This is the time to stand on his word like you've never stood on his word before. This is the time to believe God like you believe. Believe him. Believe him because he's the only one. We, oh, he's all we got. <laughs> OK, he's all we have. He's all we have before this situation, during the situation, and after this situation. Don't just come to him now because of this whole pandemic. Stay with him even afterwards because he will transform your life. Guys, God has so much, so much for us. Oh, He's got so much for us, you guys so much our storehouses are filled but we will never know and we will never receive if we don't seek him if we don't ask him if we don't go after him 
with reckless abandon. Like we need him. We need him. Okay. And I'm telling you the only way that this thing is going to break and this thing is going to turn around is if we as a people humble ourselves, repent, pray, and come back to God so that he can hear us, so that he can heal our land. This is the only way. I don't care if they come up with a cure. If we don't turn back to God and ask God to intervene, come on. Like this, this country was built on the word of God. Okay, it was built on the word of God. And I, I don't want to I don't want to go off and, and go off on a tangent and stuff. But when you start to take God out of things, things starts to happen. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. So. Keep God in your household. As for me and my, my family, we will serve the Lord. Okay, be encouraged, y'all. It's a happy day. Today's a day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I will. Be happy. Choose peace. Choose God and give him your burdens. Cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. He cares for you. He loves you and he cares for you. And that is my word for today. I love y'all. I hope you guys are enjoying your kiddos. I know they're probably driving you crazy. But it's okay. Pray for peace and pray for God to keep them in peace. <laughs> okay. And I will see you guys in the next Positive Vibes. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. It is always free. Double tap that bell so you get all my notifications. And leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the subject. Let me know what, you, what you're going through. If you need prayer, leave it down below. Um, let me know that you need prayer and or you can email me at shoshanabowens at gmail.com and I will pray with you and uh, I want y'all to be good and, and, and be encouraged and be blessed. All right. Until next time, you guys. Thanks for watching Positive Vibes. Have a great day.